if you know you are planning to move to germany this video is for you miss nancy i want to come to germany how can i come to germany miss nancy please give us a detail on how i can come to germany more easier so stay tuned make sure you are watching this video to the end hi hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel here is miss nancy so elegant in today's video we are going to be talking about how to move to germany in as much as i don't really know much about the details or how you can move to germany because my own way of moving to germany was a little bit different so if you watch my previous video i come through land so it was not like maybe all this uh, visa or any other stuff but because of my research and all the reading i've been reading you know so i get a lot of details on how you can move to germany so if maybe you know you have a, a family relative in germany you can easily come to germany with a family you reunite visa and if maybe you know you are a professional you have a professional job in africa you can also come to germany so go to their germany website so their website have to be de okay at the end you have to be de if you see any website that hand with maybe any other c1 being in any speed blah 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 just know that that is not a german website german website always end with de it means dutch land so yeah if you know you have a professional job you can easily come to germany by applying for a a work visa search for a job in germany so in a different video i will be talking about best app for you to search for a job easily app to search for a job but for this video we are talking about people that is coming to germany so apply for a job in germany and then if you eventually find one just apply for work visa if you get a german working contract so or from your employee employee so just go ahead and then give it to maybe embassy just for them to know that you really need this your visa appointment so quickly as possible because they do give people one year's um, appointment so but if you eventually find job they will do yours quickly as possible you will not have to wait for that one years of waiting period so and then for those of you who is also messaging me asking me is now saying i'm a, a cook in, in 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 nigeria i'm a hairdresser in nigeria i'm a, a fashion design in nigeria uh, can i how can i apply for a work visa in germany i'm a barber in nigeria and then there are so many many stuff like Germany don't really recommendate that as an house bid. Don't get me wrong, is a house bid is a is an occupation in Germany, but you cannot because of that apply for a job visa. I don't know if I'm making sense right now. So, let's say for example, I'm in Nigeria, so I'm a fashion designer. I do really fashion properly. I cannot come to German website and said I want to apply for a job. And then the job I'm applying for is a fashion design in Germany. So even fashion design in Germany is not listed online. So maybe if you are searching for a job in Germany from Nigeria. So the fashion design uh, work is not listed online in Germany for you to apply. Not to talk about you even going to uh, embassy to apply for a work visa. Because all this barbing of a thing, hairdresser, fashion design, cooking, and then just name it all this quick quick job when it has to do with office job that is what germany really recommended as an occupation in germany if i'm an hairdresser i have a profession i have a, i have occupation but if i'm coming from a different country they don't really see that as a occupation for you to come to their country not to talk about even then uh, contributing for your relocating to germany so it's not going to be possible but if you have all this bachelor degree you know you have a great professional it and then uh, all these nurses uh, doctor professional doctor so those big big name uh, professionals so if you have all those one germany can spend them amount of money bringing you here as a, a skip worker and believe me you a lot of people who come to germany as a professional maybe doctor nurses and uh, recently germany sent a lot of people back to 
to their home country because some of them was not really that qualified enough because Germany is this kind of country. If you are a nurse in Nigeria or a daughter in your own country and you eventually come to Germany, you're not just going to start working instantly because maybe you bring all just your certificate from your country. Germany is not going to accept you to just bring it to their library and start working as soon as possible. You are still going to go to the, some tests, you know. They are still going to examine you to see if maybe you really qualify for this because this is a profession they are bringing you. You are here to save people life. You are not here to do one kind of task. So you are still going to undergo a test and all those things. Also with all these trailer driver. So if you are a trailer driver in your country, Germany cannot because of trailer driver and bring you to Germany. There has to be all this about treatment and things that you see online. If, they, if you maybe you ride trailer driver, and you eventually find one glory be to you and if you apply for it maybe they accept you you can do job visa and then come to germany so you can just provide all the necessary stuff but if maybe you are in germany already and you are a trailer driver you still have to go and meet all this aggregate tour for arbeit so the aggregate tour for arbeit will be the one to sponsor everything but you yourself you have to open your brain your brain has to open because trust me believe me you they are going to test you you are going to understand the language maybe equivalent to b uh, base vibe b2 uh, german language uh, niveau they are going to do a lot of tests for you even some people give up they don't just want to go into all those details of uh, doing di do this do language do that because a lot of people believe that uh, because i'm a, a professional driving man in my home country i can just come to germany and start working it's not done that way so germany are still going to do a research for you they are going to do tests for you they are going to do a lot of things for you before you can just start working in germany so it's not that easy so yeah nurses doctors bachelor degree you have all those things or maybe you are coming to school in germany so I would say the most easier way to come to Germany is just a family reunite visa. If maybe you don't have profession, okay, you don't have professional, is a family reunite visa. And if you also come with, with uh, all these uh, tourist visa, if you also come here with tourist visa or treatment visa, as soon as your treatment is over or that tourist, maybe like six months or three months visa that you apply for, as soon as it's over, and uh, you are not back to your base that is back to your country they will look for you so they may eventually look for you and then take you back if they forget about you they don't want to search for you to say that your visa is already expired that you should go back to your country if maybe your visa expired you stay in the country you seek asylum some people also get their stay because of what they said so let's say, for example, you come here with a Tory visa and your visa expire, you refuse to go back and now you now seek asylum after your visa has been expired. If Germany see that uh, everything was nice, everything is good by you, that visa, they are still going to renew your visa for even if it take one year for you to do all this, your, what they call it, um, asylum procedure and everything, even if it take one year for them to answer you they are going to renew your visa for you for free and take you back to your home country so that's just germany for you but if maybe during this three months being here you find their white just maybe pregnant for one of their white so you can from there have your stake but if maybe you seek asylum even if you take one years or two years germany are still going to renew your visa for you or that you just have a good purpose of being here and then they will just grant you your stay so that is just how it is you staying you waiting for your visa to expire before seeking asylum or not germany are still going to do whatsoever they want to do so that just my advice so if you come in here coming to germany it has to be a family united visa and uh, if you don't have any family in europe there's no two ways about it, so you should forget about Germany. You just have to have money. So 
my own thought is that I don't see anything you commit to Germany if maybe you have everything back in your country. So you just have to stay back in your country, invest. A lot of people are still living there and they're still living very, very good. Just they still have their freedom, you know. They are still doing things good. And uh, if I tell you that a lot of people, as in all countries, are just the same. Even if you live in Nigeria, but if you are, if you have something giving you that what you wanted, I don't think you even planning on going to another mass country. So yeah, if you have everything that it takes, like money, you have everything. A lot of people are still in that Nigeria; they are still getting it, so they don't even think of moving to another country. Even if they eventually think of moving to another country, it should be that. Because our country is so in another negative part, so we are going to where it's more civilized to give our children more better life. So it should be in that way. No, maybe you coming to other mass country because you are seeking for a greener pasture. I think all country, even if you also come to Germany, if maybe your destiny is not in Germany, you are still going to leave Germany. If I Tell you that a lot of people have been in Germany, or not just Germany alone. A lot of people have followed almost all the European country for like twelve years plus now. They don't have resident permit. They are still moving from one country to another country. They seek asylum in Germany. Germany rejects them. They go to Italy. Italy rejects them. They go to Spain. Spain rejects them. They go to Greece. Greece said no. They go to Netherlands. Netherlands no. As they are just moving. Even the venture, they still come back to that same Germany. The Germany said no. We said no years ago. We are still saying no at present right now. So if your destiny is not here, you are just going to be rolling around, roll, roll around, roll around the Europe. And you are still eventually going to your country back. Because you'll be fed up in life, you know. Go, no, go. Come, no, come. No wife, no uh, document, you know. If you have one of all this, maybe you eventually find maybe wife here and start giving birth having your family having rest of mind it will be more better than you having a document and no family you are just old you are getting old and no family so but if maybe you're not you are not a young man no document and no family no wife to build family with is a lot a lot a lot of people do just wake up in the morning and just go to a train station a lot of people have joined into the train tracks and the train, you know, moving train. They don't stop, so they just pass by and hit a lot of people. A lot of, people, a lot of African people have just give themselves ROIP or in the name of frustration. They are not doing something as if they have all this color, which they don't have because of frustration, because there's a lot of things. A lot of people are going through a lot. And likewise, all country. That is why I make the statement go that if you are in your country and you have rest of mind, you should stay back, try to push forward. Everybody don't have to, to be a jackpot. You don't have to be among the people who jackpot this year. You know that you have rest of mind in your country. It's just the money that is stepping you back. I think you should move, you should try by all means. To, even if, if you can fit yourself a day. You are a big man on your own. So not everybody will come online and start blabbing or start telling you what they are going through in the countryside. So if maybe you are in Africa, I'm in Europe, doesn't mean that uh, I have money more than you or I have peace of mind more than you. A lot of people, I'm not saying that I don't have peace of mind. I'm just trying to make reference here. But yeah, if you know you have rest of mind in your home country, stay there having a destiny in Germany. If you have your destiny is in Germany, you are but eventually going to stay in Germany without no no distraction. You know? So yeah. Elegant. That is just all I can say. You having all this uh queer, queer professional is really not addressed in Germany as a professional for you moving to your from your country to Germany. Say let's say for example you just come here you say I'm a fashion designer in my country I cannot find a job in my country. That is why I come here in Germany. Hello. So, Elegant, if you like this video, 
or if you have any thought opinion for you to give for people who is asking that they are coming to germany because they are a barber because they are a cook because they are a writer because they are a, gra a graduate a graduate who don't who have a degree you know so give your advice to these people on the comment section down below all this quick 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 house video in nigeria a lot of people are avid so but they are asking if they can come to germany because of just quick quick house video not all this nurses daughter bachelor not all this one but just the quick quick one so give them your advice your opinion in the comment section down below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel follow my facebook page which is miss nelson and i will see you elegant in my next video have a blessed wonderful day do make sure to stay blessed. Bye-bye.